Hello everyone, welcome to this new video about Kirchhoff's laws KCL and KVL, Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. Given the electric circuit with R1 is 4 ohms, R2 is 5 ohms, R3 is 5 ohms, and we have two sources, one is voltage source of 5 volt, and the other one is a current source of 7 amps. The question now is using Kirchhoff's law to calculate the current through each resistor. Let's go to solution. I will explain now step by step how to apply Kirchhoff's law in order to solve this problem. Let's start with step number one is to choose the direction of the current. This can be done arbitrarily. Let's choose this I, let's choose I2, the current through the resistor R2, let's choose the current I1 is the current through the resistor R1, and I3 is the current through the resistor R3. After we choose the direction of the current, we go to step number two is to identify the polarity of each resistor. We know that the current go always from the high potential to the low potential. That means this is, is positive and negative of R1, positive and negative of R2, positive and negative of R3. We go now to step number three is to apply Kirchhoff's current law KCF. We can see at node A that uh, I and entering the node and I1 and I2 leaving the node. Then we can write KCL at A, I is equal to I1 plus I2. We see at node B that I2 and IS entering the node and I3 leaving the node. We can write KCL at B, I2 plus IS is equal to I3. After we finish applying Kirchhoff's current law KCL, we go to step number 4, is applying Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL. Before, before we start, we can choose first the different loop we are going to use. This is loop number one, this is, is loop number two. In loop number one we can write negative Vs plus R1 I1 is equal to zero. We obtain finally negative five plus four I1 is equal to zero. We go now to loop number two, we write in loop number two negative R1 I1 plus R2 I2 plus R3 I3 is equal to 0. Finally, we obtain negative 4 I1 plus 5 I2 plus 5 I3 is equal to 0. By applying KCL and KVL, we found four equations. Now, the only we need to do is to solve the questions in order to find the current I, I1, I2 and I3. Let's start with equation number 3. We have negative 5 plus 4 I1 is equal to 0. We can find directly I1 is 5 over 4 is equal to 1.25 amps. We go now to equation number 4. We have negative 4 I1 plus 5 I2 plus 5 I3. We can rewrite the equation number 4 to have 5 I2 is equal to 4 I1 minus 5 I3. By replacing I1 with its value and we divide the whole equation by 4, we obtain I2 is equal to 1 minus I3. I will call this equation A. We have equation 2 is I2 plus 7 
is equal to I3 by replacing A in N2 we have 1 minus I3 plus 7 is equal to I3 finally you obtain 2 I3 is 8 that means I3 is 8 over 2 4 amps we go back to equation A we have I2 is 1 minus I3 we already found I3 that's 4 amps we obtain I2 negative 3 amps we go now to equation number 1 we have I is I1 plus I2 is equal to 1.25 minus 3 we obtain I is negative 175 amps after we finish calculation we are going to make simulation using SPICE software in order to verify our calculation let's go here is the circuit is done with the, the circuit is done with SPICE simulation software let's go to analyze we go to DC analyze and we go to calculate nodal voltage we can see here that this I is negative 175 amps I1 is 1.25 amps I2 is negative 3 amps and I4 is I3 is 4 amps the value of the current is exactly the same we have done by theory calculation thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon in another video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will try to answer you as soon as possible thank you again and take care bye bye